digital transition is over with, so a lot of people are having problems with antennas. If you go through my blog and see how many times I use the word antenna, you might be amazed. But, uh, you know, this is a remake of the video I did working on my antenna. So let's get work on my antenna and, and see if we can't uh, find a few things and a few suggestions that will help you with yours. Okay, this is the lead-in wire that comes from the antenna to the uh, lightning arrestor. And after looking at it, I really don't like the way this wire looks. The center conductor is not shiny. It's corroded and really hasn't held up in the weather. So I'm going to replace this with some decent wire. Okay, so I've leaned the antenna over. It is uh, just resting on the edge of the house. So I'm up on the roof. First thing to do is let's get rid of this wire. Now while I'm up here, I'm gonna check this bale. are between the elements. Check them out and see if they're rusted. If they are, you'll need a new antenna. So I'm going to look at the uh, connections. Everything has to be clean and tight. We're getting to the rotor. Remember this part turns, this part does not. We need that loop. You saw me do it my mom said. One of these is RG59 and one's RG6. You notice that the inside circle is bigger on one than it is the other. You gotta use the right connector for the right cable. Since I'm in the testing mode, I'm just gonna use a standard barrel and bypass the lightning arrestor just to see if the lightning arrestor may be full of water and bad also. So now let's test. As for this piece of wire, I'm going to replace this splitter. 